Today we'll be talking about leg pain. It's a very common problem. I see patients from uh, both sexes, all ages, coming with leg pain, and they always wonder what are the causes and how do we diagnose the uh, problem and how do we treat it. So we need to know first the anatomy. We have the skin covering muscles, joints, bones, nerves, you have arteries and you have veins. Any one of those organs or more than one could cause pain. For example, people who have shingles on the skin could cause pain. People who have arthritis, they could have pain. People who have low back pain from a disc disease that could radiate down the leg could have pain. On the other hand, very commonly missed diagnosis is pain that comes from veins and arteries. <clears throat> so let me expand on that. Our veins bring the blood back to the heart and the arteries take the blood from the heart to the leg and to the organs. This blood has oxygen. So if you have a blockage in those vessels that are taking the blood down the leg, you will have pain in the leg when you walk. We call it claudications. So you may have heard the word claudication which means pain with walking due to obstruction in the arteries of the leg. We diagnose this problem by doing few simple tests in the office. One is measuring the pressure in the ankle compared to the pressure in the arm. They should be equal. If the pressure in the ankle is lower than the arm, then you have a blockage. And depends how much lower, it tells you how severe the blockage is. On the other hand, we can do ultrasound where we look actually at the vessel and the blood flow. That will measure the speed of blood in the artery and the diameter of the vessel and how much blockage we have. This test will have more accuracy in localizing the blockage and help us to treat it with angioplasty. How do we treat it? Well, we do what's called <clears throat> angiogram. So we go from the groin or sometimes from the ankle, sometimes from the wrist, with tiny little tube under local anesthesia and some sedation. We go to the area that we want to image, which is usually the artery, and we inject dye and follow it with x-ray. That will show me the actual blockage and how bad and how many blockages and how severe. Basically, it tells me the whole story. At that moment, we decide how to treat it. So if it is severe, more than 70%, we will do things like a therectomy or taking the plaque out. <clears throat> Sometimes we do laser to melt it. Sometimes we shave it with a rotational device known as rotor router And uh, we put a balloon to enlarge the vessel. Sometimes we put a stand <clears throat> to keep the vessel open. Recently, actually, we have new balloons that are coated with medicine. This medicine spread from the balloon to the tissue, to the cells, over 60 seconds. Prevents the tissue from regrowing and block the vessel. So basically, it keeps the vessel open longer. So we look for the short-term results by doing the angioplasty. We also do things to keep the vessel open for the long term so it doesn't keep coming back. Obviously, walking and physical exercise is very helpful also in preventing this blockage from coming back.